Right, and that's that bit done. Next, her. Hmm. No, not not her next. I'm gonna go with the little the trousers here because it's got that little uh, like chap kind of effect to it. And for that we're gonna be using Scrub Brown. For some reason this bottle doesn't seem to be shutting properly. I don't know why. Probably jammed up with something. We're going to use a scrub brown. We're going to have to clean the lid, I think. And I don't know where that is. Or one piece or not. I can get it now, it looks different. I haven't quite worked out how to picture things so it would seem. <laughs> at first that it was like uh, something that was all the way up his leg judging from this leg it is but judging from that leg it looks different and I don't know which one to go with so I'm just going to go with what I think and I just realised I've not done the inside of this coat oh hell <laughs> And I think it might just be secured, it is on one thing and it's just secured by these little straps here and it's attached and it's sort of like worn with a belt underneath. And that's the way I'm looking at it. If I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I don't care. It's my model, I'll do what I want with it. <laughs> Okay, so the inside of the coat, better get that done, is going to be done by Avalanda Sunset. So we'll get some of that on the palette. It's a nice yellow brown. This is the lining of the coat here.
I'm actually going to wrap the lining round and do it as that edge trim. Brighten it up on the outside of the coat and leave it quite dull on the inside of the coat so it will look a different colour. But I do like the shade of yellow. I think what colour it used to this was in the old GW colours. It will be coming along and tidying up in a few minutes. I think this goes into that going go over the um, so I'm going to do that as well Okay, I don't think it is now looking at it because it doesn't seem to match up at the front. Just at the back but not at the front. I'm also looking at the fact that there doesn't seem to be an edge like this going from the oh heck going up there it just seems to stop the so I'm going to go back into our Scrag Brown Now I can tidy up. It wasn't Scrub Brown, was it? It was Gimbal Brown. Oh, you fool. You fool, you fool, you fool. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. So, it looks as though that Do this this way because I like look of it. It's not um, what you call it. It's not what you'd normally assume would happen. It would be so because that is. 
the way I'm seeing it, that's the way I'm doing it. It may be that I'm making a slight error in judgment on this part, but I can't see an edge like we had here, which was clearly defined as a trim. Tidy up the edge I've just put on. And a little more on this side. Um just need too much on that side. I think I'm gonna Pretty little job there. Mm. Annoyingly, there is a clear dolly. And that's because it is on the outside of the coat rather than the inside. Okay, so I got one part wrong, so I'm going to have to make the adjustment now. The outside of the coat has that yellow trim where the inside of the coat doesn't. When I say the inside of the coat where it closes and it's not seen. It doesn't have the yellow trim, but I'll come back to that later because for now, I'm going to have to wait until that brown dries. Oh my god, not. It's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to go straight down. See, that's the bit that's opened and that overlaps this part and hopefully as you can see the there isn't a A strong, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, line there to show that there's that it should be um, what am I thinking? You know, where that's got the, the pipe like the yellow, there's a band around there, so it should be a different color. <coughs> this one doesn't have it, so that's why I've done. Not done one there. Oh dear lord, my head's cabbaged. Right. Not that bit. So the majority of this guy is done. The shoes need doing. For that, um, a little bit of. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Nope, 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 and nope. Here we are. 
ashen grey. It's an ashen grey. Put a bit to the side here and into that we want to put some of the um, doom bull brown and some of the scrub brown and some of the scrub brown and what the hell a little bit of a on sunset as well there we go strange little cone for his shoes Um, so I'm going a bit quiet, I'm just concentrating. <laughs> I just I completely forgot I was um, filming this then. Um, yeah, so we'll just get on with painting this this colour for his feet and shoes. Um, again, having a little trouble with the um, paint not sticking properly. Again, I'm, I'm thinking that's down to the primer rather than anything else um, I need to touch up a few places on this with the darker color that we used for the trousers um, which we will do now thinner brush and we'll just go over a few spaces here and there It's irritating when the paint doesn't stick properly. <laughs> but, never mind, there's always little adjustments you can make. That's the joy of painting. But before it will just stick when it's supposed to. And not much of this dirt colour left, so we're going to have to make sure that we get everywhere covered now, otherwise, I might have a little bit of trouble trying to get the same colour. Um, there we go. Um, right, so that's that. And now we'll go back to the slightly bigger brush. Back into the colour we just mixed with the shoes. And we'll paint this guy's boots. Um, and again, here we are having trouble with the paint sticking um, I'll 
try and get this done. <laughs> Don't know what I was going to say though, I'll try and get this done. Yeah, well, 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 that's the reason we are painting it, we are trying to get it done. <sighs> Don't know what was going through my head when I started that uh, sentence. Um, yeah, so like I said, we're getting near to the clear part, so be very, very careful of our movements because we do not want this to show any paint. Occasionally, you're going to get some on, it's unavoidable because we're painting by hand hand movements can be quite erratic if you're not or if you've not got a really steady hand even the brush can sometimes spring back and hit something you don't want it to do um, so it can be unavoidable getting little bits on but make sure you don't get a great big line on it or something the odd spot here and there isn't going to make any difference I don't think um, but the last thing you want to do is go whoosh, straight across it. Once doing that, you may as well paint the whole thing in the uh, flame technique that I've shown in previous videos. We're just going from pale yellow into um, up to dark red. And then highlight in black. It's a technique I don't want to use on this. So if you see you've gone onto something with the paint and all this comes off incredibly easy. Also if you do actually accidentally catch it then you can scrape it off. Oh that's lovely. No oh, sorry, I'm getting carried away inside. Right, so that's that bit done. Now what I want to do is using a little bit of our wood colour, dryad bark, the one I usually use for wood. In fact I don't want to use wood. I'm going to do it as metal. A metal wand. Yes. Not warplock bronze for this. And I'm going to go over the edges here. Um, I don't want it completely metal. Um, but we do want a very sturdy wand that isn't going to catch fire. And the only way we can do that is by using metal. Um, So it's going to be slightly, slightly heavy wand in reality, but this is D and D. And for some people, it's D and D is probably the only reality that's worth having. <laughs> um, so we just keep going. So I've painted all the areas around the flame with this metallic colour. And then we can make a start on actually washing. Mm 
the area that we want washed. Now, I'm not going overboard with the wash on this either. I want it to be quite subtle. So, we'll make sure that we've got all the metallic area that we want done. I think we will use a little bit of the dryer back just for the sake of having um where I put it now uh, <laughs> um just for the sake of, have, of him having something easier to hold we'll have dryer back there and We will be taking a pause in the video here um, for a brief moment, well, for a time because we're going to be washing now. So the last thing we want to do is start going over areas. I'm going to use just a touch of pied witch flesh. This is not an essential part. This is because I've made a bit of a mistake, and I want to make sure that. Um, the wash goes on, the wash I'm going to be using goes on properly, so I'm going to just use a touch of the pallid witch flash because we're going to splodge of brown on his tail here and I don't want that to show up under the wash there you go, so that's not um, a, an essential part of this, it's just a correction I'm making or an adjustment rather let's have a look at this now and um, I just want to go back into the shoe colour and just go around and make sure with it that is done strong as it can be um, I'm going to go back into the scrag brown and add some more to this area because it is a little bit patchy making sure that it's all like a solid colour and we've covered every area it should be covered in this colour there we go the little accoutrements on these belts and everything can be done later. Mm -hmm. 